and welcome to our trip to our house to Sicily, Italy. Um, my name is Bella, and I grew up in Minnesota. Oh, that's close. Yeah. Hi, my name is Caleb, and I was born in Chicago. Um, I, when I grew up, I went to the University of Hawaii, and I became a coastal engineer. And I just added it, but I speak many languages, including um, Italian, French, and Spanish, which will help us on this trip. Um, our overall price for this trip will be um, $1,160.50 per person. The deposit is $550 and for refundable up to 82 days before the trip ends. And this includes the round trip for the... Um, the, price is, the price does not include like meals and the, the car rental. Oh, it does. It does? Okay, so um, day one, we arrive in Catania from, our trip is about 15 hours from Minneapolis to Catania. There's a couple of stops, but we arrive around probably six o'clock. And then once we get to Catania, we rent a car from AP Transfers, which is included in the price. And then we take this, um, the Edna Sunset Tour, which is a well-known volcano and is still active today. And then the total for this day was $666. For day two and three, we will, we will go to Syracuse and spend the day at Oasis and Oasis Casa de Bacardi. The cost for the day will be four hundred dollars, and the next day we will stay in Syracuse and visit the Greek Theater of Syracuse and the Fountain of Arethusa. The cost for the day will be three hundred eighteen. Day four, we go to we visit Gila, and then we spend the we spend the whole day there. And we pack, we pack lunches for all, um, for all meals except for sometimes when we go out. And then um, at the beach, we can relax, we can swim, snorkeling, many things that we can do there. Day five, we will visit the Caltagorion. We go on Sunflyers parachute sport. The overall cost for the day will be two hundred. And then we also visit, while we're in Calderon, we visit the um, Grand Staircase of Santa Del Maria. It's a famous staircase that's 142 steps in it. Every year it has a new design added to it. Uh, day 6 and 7, we drive through Sicily, which is the heart of the overall area that we're in. And then um, through there, we go straight to Isola Volcano, which is uh, one of the eight, yeah, one of the eight, um, little islands that branch off Sicily. And then and then we can go we go to the beach and then we go scuba diving. And then the overall cost is four hundred and two dollars. And then the next day we stay again at Azo Volcano. We go hiking and then we tour the magnificent volcano and then we drive to the airport and then forty eight <coughs> the day the, the day cost is forty eight dollars. It's fairly cheaper. What we have to buy. All the activities are under forty eight dollars. And these are the activities like the tour of the volcanoes, visiting the historic site, scuba diving, snorkeling, hiking, kayaking, water sports, surf, swim, and parachuting. And then for the hotels that we stay at, we stay at a new one each night, except for days that we that we have. So for day two and three, we stay at the same hotel in um, Caltagrone, and then for day six and seven, we stay at the same one at um, Isola Volcano. They're all $540 or less per night. And then they're all near the activities that we have for the next day. So it's a short commute. And then they all provide a free breakfast. The weather in Sicily is an average from 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the sea temp is perfect for swimming in this area. And then it's a good temperature for everything that, we're, that we have planned to do. Okay, thank you for listening. confused on the cost of your trip at the beginning you said it was eleven hundred sixty dollars that's but per person per person yeah but that didn't include the hotel and the activity no it does it does 
because your price on those adds up to a lot more than the eleven hundred sixty dollars. Here. Okay, so um, it's not including the lunch meals, but then, it, and it also doesn't include the tips, but, and then it does include all the day activities, except for sometimes um, admissions to historical sites. And then for also for the hotels, it's, it's included in that price along with the round trip for each person from, the, from, Cal from Batania to Minneapolis. So your first day was $666. Mm -hmm. was the cost and the next day was four hundred. Oh sorry, okay. So for the days they they include both of us. It's not per person. Mm -hmm. That's the overall price for both of us for the day. Oh okay, I guess sorry, it. that was so <laughs> the the pricing is for double two people when you broke it down. Yeah. By day. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Does this include the cost of the flights and also how are you getting to that small island? Uh, yes, okay. So for um, the flight to Minneapolis to Cal <coughs> from to Catania is, on, is about 15 hours and it's about $800 for both of us. So it's about $400 and then to get to the little island that very is <coughs> silly. We drive through the rest of the area and we take a ferry from land to the Isola Volcano. Do you guys have, um, if someone wanted to opt out of one of the activities, like day six and seven, is that the volcano tour? Yeah. So let's say they didn't want to do that. Is there something else they can do on that day, or do they need to do the activities you've planned for each um, day? There are extra activities, like they're around the area, there's a bunch of like museums and other stuff. And would that be within the price that you gave, or would that be an additional cost, or would they be refunded would, for the cost of the activity? It would probably be refunded. Yeah, it would be refunded, but you would depending on how much it is. It could cost a little bit more than needed. Okay. We would still get the money back, but. So they could interchange activities if yeah. they didn't want to do mm -hmm. a specific one on a day. And okay. then especially around Sicily on land, there's a lot, of back, a lot of extra activities that you can do just besides the ones that plan. Like you can go to the beach most, most places and just go on different tours. Awesome, those thank you. Historic sites. So what's the target audience for your trip? Like what age group? Well, this is um, preferred probably teenagers to adults rather than younger kids because with the um, Sunflyers parachute sport, it's you would have to do it with an adult. Well, you would have an instructor with you, but it's a lot higher recommended for older kids. And then also with the day activities, for younger kids, they would get a little. They would be less interested because our trip is, even though it has lots of adventures, there's. It's also a plan to see historic sites, and they like it. A little boring for those that aren't interested. All right, let's give them a hand.